Hello everyone, I'm Abdullahani, an architecture student at Kuwait University and I'll be presenting my barometric model of King Abdullah Petroleum Studies and Research Center which was done by Zahadid Architects. So starting by a hexagonal grid, then using kangaroo physics to morph it, the main outline of the building were created. So there's two types of units. One is with five faces and the other is with four faces. And all the faces are changeable by graph mappers and number sliders. So this is the unit with five faces and it's changeable faces. And this is the unit with four faces and it's changeable faces. And now for the details, so there are skylight meshes, tiles, a pattern in the tiles, screen windows, columns. So here I'm doing the skylight meshes with using call pattern because some of them are openings. As for the tiles and the pattern in them, I use different types of grids scale and random reduce because some of them are plain and the ground was created by an offset of the unit's boundary and then use scale and extrude to do a thickness and to change its space. For the screen windows, I have divided curves that I have already created previously and it is changeable. So you can change the number of mullions, for example. Columns were created by listing an item, then extruding the points off and move them to be linked into curves. For the interior, I've created a structure of the mosque. By using kangaroo twice, once to create the dome, then to apply the morphed hexagon cells. For the second kangaroo, I've used the same logic that I've used in the first definition. And here are some renders of the building. And lastly, I've created an animation using V-Ray and After Effects. 